Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this new Let's Play of Sunless Sea. But first, just listen. I'm not going to get tired of that music anytime soon. <laughs> okay, alright. Um, I haven't been around for a little while, do apologize. Um, I was pretty burned out after the Escapers playthrough, to be totally honest with you, and I wanted to take a little break, and I did some other stuff. And sometimes life just looks at you with her beautiful brown eyes and says, Hey, spend a little time with me. So I did. Well, anyway, I'm back here. Sunless Sea. This has been, uh, this is a game by the same people who made the Fallen London uh, web game, which I, I was playing a few years back. It was absolutely fantastic. I know I'm procrastinating. I just want to stay on this uh, and listen to this music, but let's start a new game. Start a new game. Am I sure? Absolutely. The Carnate is full of foreigners who inexplicably consider London as foreigner. Do not trust them. Okay, loading screen. That's a rather scary looking shark. Um, assume it's got some lasers somewhere. Here we go. Captain's making. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. That's not important. What's important is the vast black sea beyond London, a sea which is yours to explore. Choose a past. Decide who you were and what you want to be. Okay. A street urchin. Your urchin gang cast you out when you grew too tall. You took to the sea rather than graduate to largest crimes. Your, that last big score was enough to buy a ship. This will give you a bonus of veils, the skill of subtlety and evasion. I'm not entirely certain what that means yet, but we'll find out. A poet. An educated and articulate soul seeking sensation at sea. How lucky you are. How lucky you had a legacy to spend. This will give you a bonus of pages, which I understand is currency, the skill of trickery, and knowledge. Veteran of the campaign of 68, you fought in the invasion of hell. London's armies lost, you survived. Your loot and your pension have brought you a command. This will give you a bonus to iron, the skill of causing direct damage. That might be useful. An ordained priest, you fell from grace. There is nothing left ashore for you. An anonymous benefactor has found a way out for you. This will give you a bonus to hearts, the skill of healing and morale. A natural philosopher. Your peculiar theories on time, blood and starlight brought you down to the Nerth, the cavern where London lies. And now they take you out to Z. This will give you a bonus to mirrors, the skill of direction and perception. Okay, I think I'm going to go for a poet. A poet. A wise soul. Experience? You have intuition. And your friend, the sly navigator, he's a little vague, but he probably knows what he's doing. Perhaps you can find someone better eventually. You have gained 25 pages, now a total of 50. You have, you now have one times sly navigator. This guy here. You have gained 20 echo, new total 70. You were a struggling poet, now you're a Z captain. Your a stranger quality has gone. Welcome to the world. Okay, what does winning mean to you? Gather a hundred tales, learn all you can of the Z, write a masterpiece, retire. You know how it is to be poor. Now you want a mansion, servants, fine clothes, a family perhaps. And, oh yeah, the rest are locked. Let's go for money, shall we? Okay. Beyond the dreams. The undersea is full of riches. Death and darkness too, but it's worth the gamble. To win, gather a substantial retirement fund, upgrade your lodgings to a mansion, and retire. Right. Okay. The last scrap of paperwork. Captain, Captain, and regularity with the har harbour master's office. They wish to know what term of address do you prefer ashore? This will determine what people call you. Madam? Possibly. Sir? No. Citizen? Little wrong. Rival lord, my lady. In the air. Let's go with Captain. Okay. Captain, continue. 
choose your name. I'm going to be boring. And unable to spell my name. Uh, let's pick a picture. Let's pick a picture. Arr, that be my face. That be. That works well. Arr. Accept. Okay, here we are. We are in fallen London. And the story goes so far that uh, demons came up from de under the earth and attacked London. There was a mighty war. The people of London lost, and the London was drawn down into a vast underground cave full of bats, monsters, and unfortunately people. So we have... Um, this is our details of our ship, how fast we're travelling forwards and backwards, our hit points, our fuel status. Okay, um, I believe this overheats if you're running at maximum speed too long. It's probably going to be detrimental. Um, hunger, and I believe that's number of rations. I'm presuming if that fills up, the ration number goes down, it resets. Terror. The terror of the Z is less here. Um... Nasty things are out there. That's going to go up. All right, hearts. Um, inspire, heal, defend. Veil, speed, stealth, deception. Pages, esoteric and occasionally practical knowledge. Mirrors, deception and perception. Iron, thirteen. Iron is used as weapons and crew. Eight out of ten. So we have eight sailors with a part of a possible ten. These are all resources we can spend through the course of the game, from what I understand. Okay. Um, let's not look at any of this at the moment. Let's just go out and explore, shall we? Here we go. So, speeding up. And let's have a quick look. This is the map. We know absolutely nothing at the moment, but let's go and have a, a quick circle around here and see what we can find. The idea is we're going to find places to trade, stuff to buy and sell, un unlock mysteries, find new places, perhaps win battles. All is waiting for us to see, so let's have a quick putter around first. So, Rowena's Rocks and a lighthouse by looks. I think, actually, we can dock there, but let's dock here first. Hunter's Keep. Okay. So, yep, there's a harbour there. Let's go around there and have a quick look. Right. Uh huh, uh huh. Um, if you look up at the left hand corner here, you can see that fuel is going down. And there we go. We lost a point of fuel, but the fuel tank is full up again. So, here we go. Around this is where we're aiming for. Our pages score is fifty, so to so glean another hundred and seventy five fragments to gain a secret. Okay, interesting. Oh, that doesn't look nice. Oh, fight! A bat swarm. Here are the little cousins of the night, come to tear your flesh and drink your blood. Don't let them get close. Already your crew cry out in fear. I can fight, or I can terrify them with blazing light. Pump power into your prowl light. Let it blaze like the noonday. This will cost fuel, whether you succeed or fail. And it's a high-risk challenge, so I'm not going to try it. Let's fight them. Right, first time I played this, this, this was a little bit confusing. But the object here is that, first of all, we want to try to illuminate the enemy, and then we want to attack them. Um, likewise, they're going to be trying to illuminate us to attack us. Bear in mind that we actually underground in a massive cave. There's no natural light. Bats apparently need light. Um, it's a trifle um, uncomfortable tactic, but it works. So we have different types of uh, um, attacks. There's a devastating salvo that requires a hundred illumination. And a salvo that only requires 50. We have two different, well, we have three different types of illumination. Um, we have flares, which I understand will raise the illumination by our mirror score. Veils, hearts, 
pages, mirrors, there we go, so mirrors, so I'm guessing that will go up by 26, um, and there's a potent flares, uh, which will illuminate more, but requires fuel, and we only have 8 fuel left, so I'm unlikely to use that, and seek, reduce distance and, decrease, and, and increase their illumination, does not increase your illumination, but has a longer cooldown than firing flares, so that's basically come up close to them and see what you can do. Um, evade will reduce your illumination. Flank speed will use a lot of fuel, but will decrease your illumination by a lot. Flee is fairly obvious. Emergency repairs, fairly obvious. And observe. Hold steady for just one moment. Increases both your and enemy illumination by five and gains observations. 10 observations may earn you something after the battle. So, that's interesting. Um, strikes me that if, you, if you're if you a longer fight, if you are uh, if you vastly outmatch the opponent, that's something you might want to do. Not certain I vastly outmatch the opponent. I've certainly got much more hit points than them at the moment, but I don't know what they do. So let's start off with a bit of illumination, and then we'll go on and do some attacks. So, there we go. I've lined up a few attacks. Let's see what happens. So, they're going to use a Seek. This is, I understand, not as good, but faster. Oh, actually, that was much better, wasn't it? Oh, no, not quite. And one more. Okay. All right, that's well over 50. So, now, we're quite highly illuminated as well, unfortunately. But let's line up a few attacks. All right, here we go. So they're still trying to illuminate it for some reason. There we go. That's oh, that's got rid of most of their hit points. One more should do it. There we go. Yay. Okay, a bat swarm defeated. Little leathery corpses lie scattered across your deck. The rest of the swarm vanishes into the leafy dark. Record any observations, which I can't do yet because I didn't have any observations. Gather up the corpses. They are succulent with stolen blood. Into the pot. Or dispose of the corpses, which will lower terror. But don't have that much terror yet, so let's add some food. Those little bones are troublesome, and the fresh are little gamey, but salt them well enough, and they're quite edible. You gain one-time supplies. Right. Let's see if we can get into uh, this dock now. There we go. Oh, I do love this music. Hunter's Keep. A quiet isle. A grand old house. Let's have a look around. A hump of dark rock swathed in mist, like a hundred other undersea islands. But there's a grand house, windows aglow, lawns impossibly green and lush in the full starlight, raked gravel paths. You stand on the dock as the sea nudges the ship's sides, an unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. We have a few options. We can present ourselves at the house. They would have heard the ship come in. Why hide? Take a walk in the gardens. Reconnoiter the island. Spy on the house. A very modest challenge. Let's give that a go. You spy on the house. You peer through the half-open French window into a grand parlour. Grand in size, if a little reduced in style by dust and neglect. A dark-haired, pale-skinned young woman bends earnestly over a piano keyboard. Another, fair-haired but unmistakably her sister, sprawls on the sofa with a book. A third sits by the fireplace, staring sorrowfully in the errors. Em into the embers. Embers? Embers? Errors? Embers. Soon, she says, and the piano music falters and stops. We'll go hungry, and then the end will come. But for me, not for you. The pianist raises her eyes from the keyboard. Hush, if we don't speak of it, she frowns. Has she seen you at the window? You withdraw. You've gained 40 fragments, now a total of 190. You know something of Hunter's Keep. You succeeded in a Vale's challenge. The higher the quality, the, the higher the chance of success. Okay, continue. So it looks like... They're eating each other. 
We can present ourselves at the home or reconnoitre the island. Let's reconnoitre the island. Ships ready come here. Nothing changes. Even the weather. The house is at the heart of the island. The house and the sisters. But the Admiralty may be happy to know that nothing's changed at least. You have gained one of this. A port report. Hunter's keep. Right, let's present ourselves at the house. A maid with smouldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlour where three young women wait. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest truckles. The eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You are welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. The cheerful one is Lucy. You are in good time for lunch. Will you join us? You are acquainted with the sisters of Hunter's Keep. Now this is interesting. They're inviting us to lunch, but we th understand that they've run out of food. So us having lunch with them is probably going to speed up the death of one of them. I'm not sure we should do that, to be honest with you. So the choices we have. young Luncheon with the synth sisters Cynthia. Cynthia's the eldest, melancholy, pensive, occasionally dramatic. Luncheon with the sisters, Lucy. Lucy is the middle sister, is sunny, restless, prone to giggles. Luncheon with the sisters, Phoebe. Phoebe is soft-voiced, watchful, unpredictable. Each one of those gains us... Uh, you are acquainted with the sisters... Oh, sorry, this is actually requirements, isn't it? We need to be acquainted with the sisters and... Stories of wait. Okay, I have no idea what that means, but all right, we have a choice. We can't do this news thing apparently. We don't have any recent news. I'm thinking perhaps we should walk away and come back when we do this. On the other hand, let's do this. Let's see what happens. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. It seems to you that you are sitting on a hillside above the wide blue lake, listening to a story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another chop? Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food. Here, I'll have the maid wrap something up for you. You've gained one time supplies. You're acquainted with the Sisters of Hunter Keep. You've lost 24 hunger, back to zero. You've gained one terror. You now have one tale of terror. That's all for now. Let's go back. The parlour is empty. Where are the sisters? The maid makes it clear through a series of unwelcoming growls that Phoebe, Lucy and Cynthia all three indisposed. No lunch today, apparently. Okay, I think we've done all we can here. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take that back now to um, Fallen London, see what I can get from the information. But actually, there is one thing I wanted to do first. I wanted to have a look at that lighthouse. So let's go and dock there and see what we get. So, looping around. Oh, I do love the music here. And if they've got anything right, it is the music. It is fantastic. We picked up a lot of um, pages here, so it looks like we're a long way towards a secret. Uh, let's just quickly look at the map, see if I'm going the right way. I believe I want to go down there, don't I? There we go, Rowena's Rocks. And there is the lighthouse. Slow down a little. And there's the dock. Let's go and dock there. The Dubois Maelstrom. Interesting. I'm willing to bet I don't want to go there just yet. Let's dock. The lightship. Its clear and bright beam warms the way. Speak to the crew. We have no news. We can't talk to them. Nothing we can do here by the looks of it. Very well, let's move on. Actually, yes, there's... Is there any... No, I can't do that. 
Hold, nothing in the hold. Shop, oh, no officers, no shops. No, that's no good. Okay. Right. Let's have a quick look at the map. We're here. That's pretty, oh, there is a place up there we could look at. Let's, actually, let's run up there first and see what we can get. So we launch. Full speed ahead, Mr. Boson. And I think possibly turning out of the way of that is a good idea. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention, our mascot is a comatose ferret. Mostly it's a mobile. Occasionally it's ferile. It gives us one hearts. Speak to. Alright, we can attract his attention. <laughs> play, that eye roll says. Play. I played once, in the happy Warrens of London, before you installed me in this floating coffin and made me eat dry food. Damn your play. It's an eloquent eye roll. I am loving this game. Okay. Oh, man. I do not know what that is. And I don't want to be close to it. So we'll just keep on heading up here. Just make sure quickly we're going the right way. Perhaps a little bit more to port. July 17th, 1892. Dust, echoes, even the, the sepia tint in the air. These are the waters around the tomb colonies. There's a bat colony there I want to run away from. Another lighthouse, not really worth docking to. Ooh, more bats. I don't think I'm going to be able to avoid that one. Yeah, just. Okay, and that's where we want to go. Where is the harbour? Hornman Stag. Interesting name. Tana Chuk. Uh, oh, that looks like a harbour. Let's go that way. There we go. There's the harbour. Alright. It looks like we've gained a secret. If you look down here, we this is looped around. Alright, let's just slow that down so I turn a bit faster. Yet yeah, the bats won't follow us. And an E to dock. The Tomb Colony of Vendor Blight. On deck, you can hear the sound of a thousand bandaged dead as they make. Uh, on deck, you can hear the sound a thousand bandaged dead make as they shuffle and cough. Oh, very nice. Okay, what can we do here? A dusty glass of wine is locked. Explore Vendabite. Here, they favor candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. Visit the Grand Curator, can't do that, or gather gossip. Let's gather gossip. Along the coast of the Untersea, it is remarkably hard to die. The decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists and settle here in bandaged peace. But they don't give up their ties to home or their politics. You gather a haul of complex clues, enough to keep your contracts in London interested. You have one of this, a port report, Vendabite. Nice. Right. Let's explore. Here, they fa oh, oh, we've done that one already, haven't we? Uh, okay. Right. Here, Azela shouts. There's something nestled in the mossy crook of a grey leaf tree. A wooden serpent lacquered with black, red, and yellow. Its eyes are garnet flakes. That'll fetch a good price at the bazaar, the sailor observes. But it has a cursy look, points out another. Do we leave it? Perhaps it's cursed, perhaps it's not. But your crew gets superstitious at the drop of a bat. <laughs> perhaps you can think of some way to allay their fears and take it anyway. A straightforward challenge. Take it, but reward the sailor. Half share, fair's fair. If she hadn't seen it, you'd have missed it entirely. That, funnily enough, is a high-risk challenge. I have enough echo. Okay, don't know why that's a high-risk challenge, but I'm leaning against it. And I need to know about the genial magician for that one. Let's take it. Let's do the straightforward challenge. You recognize it. It's an image of a finger king. 
a serpent thing that crawls beneath the skin of mirrors. They might be real and they might not, but why take chances? You order the confiscation of all mirrors until journey's end and explain that that'll keep the shift safe. There's some grumbling from the sailors who like to trim their beards, but the measure reassures most of them. You now have one outlandish artifact. You now have one times Finger King's footsteps. That's all for now. You've succeeded in a page's challenge. You've gained two terror. Now terror looks like it's starting to get a bit high. Okay. Anything else to do? Mm, perhaps not. Okay, let's have a look at the rest of this. So, this is our ship. We have a gun at the front. Forward, lead better and stain rod, reconditioned frigate, surplus, deck gun, Mark II. This way up, a weapon which may serve against small monsters or feeble pirates. And engines, elderly steeple engine, a battered rusting mechanism that will ensure that your ship goes in more or less the correct di direction. Hmm. And we have five fuel, five supplies, 70 echo, an Invictus token. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. This shows that I'm in unforgiving mode, which means when I die, I die. There's no um, reloading. I have 100 scraps of lore. Yeah, it's pages. Okay. A port report for Hunter's Keep. A tale of terror, which presumably I can sell somewhere. A secret. The root of all good. Sell secrets at the university or discuss them with your officers to improve your skills. You can speak to your officers by right-clicking on their portraits. I think I'll do that. Port report. Vendor bite. I can sell that. And an outlandish artifact. This belongs in a museum. Assuming that colonial imperial appropriation for the purpose of hegemonic taxonization is a suitable response to the problem of intercultural contact... <gasps> Which it probably is, because museums are magnificent institutions. You've made an ironclad will, and you can convert the collection of these into an heirloom for your successor. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that's the hold, journal, accomplishments. We know that 25 Terra, one Finger King's footsteps. That looks like a, the progression of a story. Um, my quality of lodgings is... A room above the blind helmsman. Uh, my past is a poet. I've, I'm acquainted with the sisters. And my ambition is a life of luxury. We know all that really. Officers. I've got no officers apart from this guy. And these are the shops in Vendabite. Arcade of size. Okay. They sell fuel. And supplies. Foxfire candles. And casks of mushroom wine. Which well, actually they... They will buy those. They don't have any at the moment. The Hollow Temple has nothing we're interested in. And Tomb Colonists, the Charnel Lounge. You can buy Tomb Colonists and drop them off here, from what I understand. But we don't have any. So nothing in the shops. And there's no shipyard. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I said I was going to do a little while ago. And we're going to head back to Fallen London. Okay, let's slow... Oh, no. I think we're not going to be able to avoid those bats, to be honest with you. No, here they come. Actually, to be totally honest with you, bats aren't that bad, and we're in good condition. So I think I might fight them regardless. Yeah, let's fight them. I could use the practice, if nothing else. Here we go. A bat swarm. Here are the little cousins of the night. Come to tear your flesh and drink your blood. Don't let them get close. Already your crew cry out in fear. Fight, or terrify them with blazing light. We're going to fight. Um, I just remember this is one way to reduce terror. So we've engaged the enemy. And here we go again. A um, couple of those. That should put my illumination up above 50, so those should work. Let's try that. Uh, one... 25, so another one's going to be 50. 53, that's better. So these will work. Boink. 7 out of 20, this one will kill them. And boink. There we go, killed them. And as our rewards, now we can buy some food, we can make this into food, but we can also reduce terror. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Disposed of the corpses, their eyes are still fierce with death. Zaylas sweep them overboard with brooms, careful not to touch them. So we've lost two terror. We're now down to 26. So I think we probably better do something about that. Right. Oh, I also wanted to do this. Speak to. Okay. Speak to the sly navigator. Look out there, Captain. Look out there. That's the Z, Captain. It's not our friend. Don't forget that. Increase your mirrors. Tell me a tale, and I'll tell you another. The Z is full of stories. Spending a secret will improve your mirrors, but no higher than 50. Where's our mirrors? Our mirror score is... This one, 26. So we can spend that secret we picked up here. And we can gain mirrors, which will make our illumination better, which means we'll fight better. That sounds like a good deal. Let's do that. The navigator likes to talk about the Z. He has long opinions on its beauties, its dangers, its salinity, its depth, and its contents, and the rest. Every other sentence starts with the Z. 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 After a while you reach the point of semantic cetacean, and the word Z means no more to you than the word Zop. But you seem to have learned something. I've lost one secret. I've gained one mirrors. Not bad. Right, let's head back to Fallen London. And I'm turning the wrong way. There we go. Okay. Bats and large rocky thing. Let's avoid the large rocky thing. Um, more bats. You know, I don't think I'm going to avoid this lot. Let's go just start a fight. There we go. Uh, we've read all that before. We've read all that before. Alright, our mirrors are slightly better, but let's, let's keep the same tactic. Um, actually, I want to try that. Let's see how well it works. Uh, this is us moving forwards. Okay, so that will increase our illumination. How much did that give us? 26. Well, that's not too bad. Okay. Um, you see, this one increases... How is that? 52. That's good. Seek increases um, their illumination, but not our illumination. But it takes a bit longer. But seeing as that's all they seem to be doing, that seemed like a, a perfectly good idea. Let's chuck one more of those on, just in case. So here we go. First salvo. Boom. Yeah, that's almost got them, didn't it? And there we go. Okay. So, let's reduce terror. We lost two... It's interesting. Two... Uh, am I gaining terror because I'm encountering the bats? I think that might be the case. So, in which case... 27 terror. Okay. Let's try it one more time. Now, we know here, we've looked. 27 terror. Let's do this again. That's that one, and then two of those. Here we go. So this will both illuminate both of us at the same time. Because we're doing the same attack. There we go, a bit brighter. This one's faster than them, so we'll actually start getting in the attack here quickly. Not that it really matters, because their attack must require a lot of illumination. And this will kill them off. Boom, gone. Right. 27 terror. This will slightly reduce terror. Okay, it's gone down to 26. Okay. Right, back to Fallen London. Let's just check the map. Make sure we're going the right way. And we are, more or less. Let's just head a little bit. Oh, that's a new one. A, another ship. Hmm. Should we fight it? What the hey? Let's fight it. They we're in a very good condition. Let's fight it. Low barnet. Right, bats first. We know how to deal with bats. One of them. One of... Actually, no. Let's do two of those. It's faster. Two of those. There we go. That'll do. Boink. Ah, that's not illuminated them enough, actually. Interesting. That was a bad plan. That'll do it, though. 
What am I doing? This is a perfect opportunity. Let's grab some observations. Let's see if we can get those 10 required observations. I'm also interested to see when they actually start doing something other than this. So that's one. That's two. That's three. Chuck a couple more into the pot. Four. Oh, what's this? Disperse. Dramatically reduces illumination. Okay. All right. No harm to us, I should imagine. That's going to lower this bar, I should imagine. Yeah. Let's do that a little bit more. How many um, observations? Uh, okay. I've lost track of how many illuminations we've done, so let's we'll stop after these. Distance 10. Oh, distance 10 yards. I didn't notice that before. No, they've got our, yeah, they've got our illumination up to 150, which looks like the maximum. Oh, what out? Let's chuck a couple more in. And they're still not. Oh, okay. That's that's moving us closer and closer. Interesting. Okay, boink, boink. Let's just kill them because they're clearly not doing anything. So, hmm. I wonder if there's an, another version of the bats which will actually have other attacks. Yes, look, they're lowering their illumination. Interesting. Bang. Ah, oh, that's killed them. Good. Right. Tw terror yes, look, the terror has gone up during the fight, so we should actually do the fights fast if possible. So we did 26 observations. I think we uh, overdid that slightly. Go. Bat flocks do not attack on the surface. They rarely attack in the neath. These bats were as aggressive and as disciplined as a bat battalion of janissaries. Where do they where is do they lair? Who trains them? You no longer have any of this. Observations. You've gained five times fragments. You new total a hundred and five. So, okay. So we've done all the observation stuff. We can gather up the co corpses for food, or we can dispose of them. We still have four food. Let's just lower the terror a little bit. Yes, yeah, so that's lowered down to 28. So, okay. Oh, here we go. A pirate steam pinnace, a nimble, savage little wolf of a vessel. We can fight or we can flee, and a flee is a high rich challenge. So let's fight. Okay. Right, so, we don't really know that much about them, but they've got much worse hold on us, and not much in the way of crew. Let's start the fight off the usual way. Doink, doink. Actually, three of those, and then we'll see about fighting them. Let's see what they do. So they're going to illuminate us at the same time. We might need to take that into mind. So, here we go, second one. That's actually put us over. Can we just... Yes, there we go. All right, good. We can cancel that one. Good. All right. Um, again, they just seem to want to illuminate us. I don't know why. Oh, not that. Let's chuck a few of those in. Looks like they're going to be a little bit tough. On the oh, here we go. Here comes some attacks. That's a devastating salvo. So, right, we'll get this one out of the way. And then what we will do is we will... Evade, yes, there we go. We'll evade and then we'll do one more attack. Alright, boink. Yeah, they're still going to get that attack in, aren't they? Interesting. Oh, look at the damage that did. Interesting. Right, let's just kill them. Alright, let's lower the light, but hardly any, to be honest with you, is it? Oh, we might not survive this. Oh, we did survive this. Jolly good. Right, what can we do? We can loot and scuttle her. She's a vile old vessel and these Z's aren't safe. Take what you can and move on. Or we can send her home with a prize crew. Two Zaylers should be enough for a skeleton crew and she's fast enough to avoid most trouble. A matter of luck. Pretty good odds. Let's do that. Awaiting your pleasure. When you next return to London, return to your lodgings to claim your prize money. You now have one times to the victor the spoils. You've lost two crew. We still have six. And we were fortunate. Right, let's get back to London. This episode has actually gone on a lot longer than I originally wanted to. But do you know what? I've been having fun. And that's always a problem with these things. 
Okay. And here we are back in the wrong side of London. So let's turn around. That's it. Okay. If you slow down, you turn faster. Of course, if you speed up, you move faster. Here we go. Back to old London town. Fallen London town, but London town nonetheless. A white Z-Bat. Azela has grown fearful and disobedient, reluctant to go on deck even in port. There's a white Z-Bat watching me up there. Salt's messenger. Salt's got its eye on me. I'll never see home again. Salt? Zayla's superstition. Order him up to the deck at once. Salt. Salt, one of the nameless gods that sailors fear. He's a conscientious man. Send him to the sick bay on the pretext of a fe fever. Find the Z-Bat. If a white Z-Bat's a sacred to Salt, perhaps you'll win Salt's favour. If you believe any of this. Shoot the Z-Bat. If the beep thing is frightening your beep crew, your beep well settle this hash. A low risk challenge. Hmm. Let's do this one. Let's find the Z-Bat. The Z-Bat takes fungal crackers from your fingers as boldly as a parrot. It dips its head to you and chirps something that might you might mistake for speech. It spreads its wings and leaps into the air. The next day your crewman is gone, along with one of your ship's boats. No one saw him depart or knows why. I've lost a crew member. I've laid, gained five fragments. I now have Zort's attention, which I think is going to be another storyline. And I now have one time stone, storm, and salt. There are gods in the sea. Interesting. So I think that was, I would say, a fair exchange. But anyway, let's get back to base. Oh, I was worried that that single bat was going to do something there. Here we go. Back to the docks. And what do we have here? Collect messages from the harbour master. Let's collect messages from the harbour master. With all the clatter of song on the dockside, it soothes your soul. Let's see. Somebody wants to sign on, and something has changed underneath. We'll look at all that next time. This has been Sunless Sea. I've been Simon Parsons. I hope you've enjoyed this. I certainly have. I'll be putting some more up next week, I hope. Thank you, and good night. Thank you.